Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, how to track your expenses or I would say like how do you uh, effectively manage up your finances. So we get all of us get a paycheck and in this video, we'll see how are we going to allocate our paycheck and how are we going to take our uh, saving journey or into your uh, uh, the future of our financial journey. So the first thing what I'm going to do is about creating a budget. So uh, we all get a uh, a fixed salary as an income or if you are a business owner you would be getting up on uh, uh, a different set of uh, business earnings so in this case let's take an example of an uh, individual who's earning up a salary of about 20000 and let's try to calculate how are we going to create a budget towards that so we all have a fixed expense where it's going to be your rent utilities and all the other things then we also have like the variable expenses which i would say which could be your uh, passion spends so you want to spend on your uh, movies you want to go for a outing with a friend so things like that so we'll create up a budget for all of those then the second thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create categories for all of these so i'm going to jot down all of my expenses into like different sections or different categories of it and to see where most of my money is going or where i'm spending the most then i'm going to record each and every expense so that's the most important thing which i'm going to do i'm going to record each and every expense like whenever i'm going to spend the money i'm going to automatically like add into my expense tracker where i'm going to see where the money is being spent including all the cash transactions as well so the transactions we can get it from our bank statements so anything which i'm going to spend as cash that also i'm going to jot it down then we also need to set up some kind of uh, realistic goals towards our uh, future so if at all we are making up any financial plannings or any investments we need to set up a, a realistic tracker we can't say like i'm going to buy a mercedes in the next five years i'm going to buy a big villa in the next two years so set realistic goals so we have to do that as well then the most important thing which we have to do is like we need to regularly evaluate our strategy like how are we going to like we need to evaluate or review it every month wise and see how are we progressing on this and uh, the most important thing is like uh, keep a copy of all of your uh, expenses and keep a copy of all of these remainders as well so that you know when is your payment due or when is uh, your next upcoming investment strategy when is all coming up so have a remainder of all of these and keep it as alerts on your mobile phones and uh, another thing which we need to take care of is uh, for our emergency fund or our uh, future uh, funds. So we'll take it into consideration of all of those. So to do all of these, we need a tracking method, a tracking strategy where we are going to jot down how are we going to track all of this. The old way method is like writing it in a page of paper and pen. Normally we write it down. Then the advanced way or in the most technological ways in these days, we could use apps like Mint or you have apps like pocket guard so these will keep a guard on your uh, pocket and will track and tell you where your expenses are and uh, in this example we'll try using an easy tried and tested method which i have been using often is the spreadsheet method we'll use an excel sheet and uh, we'll see how to track all our expenses in this so without further delay let's get started with this and we'll see how things are plotted up into an excel sheet so for this example we're going to do an excel sheet comparison we are going to do the tracker with the help of an excel sheet so this is the Excel sheet which I have in front of me. So I've categorized them into like three categories. The first thing I would say is your needs and uh, where the essential things go. I've created up some categories. You might also have your own categories here. I have something as my rent, travel, all of these comes under my uh, needs. Then I've got my wants where I would be like segregating them into my uh, luxury expenses. So there's no point in like saving money for your future when you are like you're in your 60s. We don't have a a limb or you don't have a teeth when you can't like spend up your money when you're the hard-earned money it goes vain when you don't have your uh, health when it like 60 plus of your age so we need to have our own passion spends and the third part is going to be your investment where i'm going to have like different uh, investment strategies being used for my future ahead so uh, to segregate all of these i'm splitting them into like three buckets in the ratio of 50 30 is to 20. this is the universally tried and tested uh, rule it's been used since 2005 so that 50 30 rule 20 rule is applicable to everyone in the industry and if you are a beginner if you are like living with your parents or if you are like just starting up your career you can try alternative way of investment where you could be frugal on your uh, passion investments or uh, the passion spendings you can reduce that and you can try increasing up your investment or if you don't have any of you these need spends where you are living with your parents you don't have to pay your uh, necessities or the utility bills and things like that you can try diversifying all of these funds into your investment strategy. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to jot down all my earnings. So whatever I'm going to draw as my paycheck. Say for example, in this case, I'm taking a salary of 20,000. So I'll put uh, 20,000 here. The other uh, side gigs, what I could say is like, say for example, you are in a, a metropolitan, you wanted to like 
make a career on your own and you're on your own looks without the support of your parents. So what you could do was you can try alternative ways of uh, earning up additional gigs. You can try working up in like uh, um, coffee shops or you can try uh, there are a lot of services. You could try a Swiggy delivery, you could try a Rapido. These kind of services will also provide you a side gigs besides your nine to five job. So I'm trying to add up a 3000 here. And if you're invested in the mutual funds, you should take a consideration of that as well because we normally get paid dividends from market as well. So take, for example, I'll take a dividend of 500 also in this case. And uh, if you are living along with your friends, you're sharing up your apartment with your friends. I'm taking up a uh, rent of about uh, 6,000 in this case. You will be sharing up an apartment with your friend. And uh, or if you at all, you have taken up your educational loan, you can pay for that as well. 6,000, I'm keeping it as that. And the other uh, for travel, I would spend, say, for example, for your uh, train or your bus, you can spend about like a thousand for that. Then we normally have a mobile recharge which comes up for about 350 to 500, depending upon the package which you're going to use. So these are all the essential things of life. We have to like definitely pay all of these. So I'm jotting down all of them under your needs. Then the very important thing which we need to have is your insurance. Insurance is very essential for each and every one of us. So it's better to have a term insurance covered for of those. So as you're starting up your career in your, in your early 20s, the insurance is definitely going to be like cheaper for you. So I'm jotting down about 600 per month for that. Then uh, as you're like living as an individual with your friends or as a bachelor's, then definitely you need to go with your groceries as well. So I'm adding up another 2,500 in this. So or at least like as you're like pulling up money, you can go with the 2,000 as well. So that would easily suffice for this. Then healthcare is very essential for all of us because one incident can wipe away the entire savings. So it's always better to have a medical insurance for all of you. So I'll add up another thousand for that as well. As you are uh, in your early age bracket, the insurance would not exceed more than a thousand. Then the utility bills of your uh, uh, electricity, then your gas and water, all of these would not exceed more than a two thousand. So you could see here that as I'm adding up the value, you could see the uh, needs uh, column is getting automatically added up here. Now I've exceeded my goals of investment, the necessity for needs almost by about 5% more. That's okay. We can keep it there and we can try to cut down from your passion spends. So clothing, like as I said earlier, there's no point in saving money for the future and not living your current. So always try to have a passion spend, try to spend on yourself. So here I'm trying to have like about a 1200 for your clothing. So as uh, the dressing is the index of your face, as people normally say. So. Uh, um, people judge you normally with your dress. So try to keep yourself well groomed and dressed. Then the next thing I would say is about like, uh, spending with your friends. As you're, as I said earlier, you're in your twenties, you want to enjoy with your friends. So you're going for a party with your friends. You want to booze and stuff. I wouldn't encourage you to do all of these, but, uh, I would also recommend it as like the coffee shop of your friend. So I'm adding up around a thousand for that as well. Then uh, spending out with your friends, you're going out with your family or with your friends and you're going to a restaurant once in a month. So for that, I'll add up another 2000. Then um, health is very important for all of us. So all of us must definitely go for a gym subscription. I would recommend that definitely. So for that, I'm going to add up another thousand as well. So one of the best uh, gyms in, the, in your neighborhood, you can subscribe to those. Then if you are a movie lover and if you are like an ardent movie fan, you can definitely spend for that as well. So I'm adding up another 1200 for at least a weekly you are going for a movie with your friends 1200 for that as well. Then these Netflix, Amazon, all of these all upon your own discretion. We are getting these subscriptions monthly basis for around like roughly 500. So if I add out all of these points, you could see that my passion spends comes around like 29% of my uh, expenses. Then uh, comes the very important part, the 20% of our investment strategy that should definitely go into your investment. So here for the investment, I'm going to pull up an emergency fund. This is the fund which I'm going to use it on emergencies. So here I'm just going to make it as around uh, roughly about thousand rupees every month I'm going to save. So this may sound like really silly for you to have an emergency fund of thousand. But this comes very helpful when you are like fallen sick, you want to go to visit a doctor or you some emergency has come up. This will automatically like come really helpful for you. So this emergency fund also you can try investing in your market in the equities under your mutual funds. I posted another video on uh, which mutual fund to choose, the small cap fund. As you are in your early 20s, you can definitely try investing in the small cap, which would give you like really compounded interest. So try with those uh, investments. I'll leave a link to that video in this uh, section. Then follow that, I'm adding up another section as self-development. Nobody is perfect unless you are like um, a, a learner. So every day is going to be a new teaching session for us and we're going to learn something new. So try to spend at least a thousand on you every month to your, your uh, learning and education.
So for example, uh, I'm going to spend uh, towards my uh, self-development. Say for example, you can sign up for a lot of courses online. Try learning up new technologies or new features which will try increasing up your this uh, earning. So this will automatically help you in increasing up your 9 to 5 jobs earnings. So that I'm adding under my self-development. Then if you have plans of uh, investing or buying up an apartment or something. So don't try doing them in your early 20s. That's something which has to be experimented or tried during your 40s. So there I'm going to save up a fund of about 3000 every month. And uh, we all need an excursion in life. That's for the weekends or at least once in a year or once in six months, we should travel uh, at least like inter, uh, nationally within India. We have a lot of places to visit inside India. So for that, at least I'm going to save almost uh, about a thousand every month towards that uh, vacation fund. And uh, for the cars, if at all you have plans of buying a car in the future or you want to buy a bike of your own, we can try saving up money for that as well. So for that, I'm trying to save a 1500 every month. So if you happen to notice that my uh, investment is coming almost about like 35%. So here I can try saving up my uh, cutting down on my other things. For example, I can try reducing the house fund to about 2500. So if I reduce this to 2500, you will be able to see that I'm getting about 29%. And uh, try finding out alternative ways to increase up your side gigs. So this could be your, uh, as I said earlier, there are a lot of ways to make online money and stuff like that. I would never recommend you to play online games. For example, there are a lot of uh, uh, class A cards and rummy games online. I would never recommend you doing all of those. But try try making up alternative ways. Uh, Rapido is a good service. You can try out Swiggy is also doing up the same service. So try experimenting those or try doing a freelance works. You can try supporting or like uh, helping up your friends who is like into the same stream. If you are a designer or if you are a web developer, you can try experimenting those kind of things as well. So if you could notice here that uh, your net income is almost like 23,500 and your uh, investments or your uh, uh, expenses have come to 26,500 roughly. So if at all you wanted to like make meet out this value, we can try reducing our passion spends. So the hotels and restaurants, we are not going to every single month. So there we can cut down about like a 1500 or um, movies, we can reduce it to like 750. So once I try reducing up all of these, my value will automatically subside within the 20,000 bracket, whatever I'm going to spend. Besides this, this 20,000 salary, whatever you are getting is again something which is uh, deducted post tax. So you would have been like spending the remainder of the money inside your EPF or inside your NPS. So that's again going to be your investment for a long run. So that would be automatically getting added up here. Another 500 or something would automatically get added up into at least a 1500 would get added up into your NPS account or in your EPF. So these are some of the ways where you can um, try saving up your money or try uh, finding out tracking up your money where exactly goes. So I'll leave a link to this document in the uh, comments. So you can download this document, try filling up all of your expenses and see where most of your money is being spent and which category or which bucket you are trying to exceed. So try with the 50, 30, 20 rule and see where or which uh, category you are exceeding so that we will be able to cut down on those and try increasing all the other categories. So uh, that's been it. So if you guys like this video, do share it with your friends and do smack that like button. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.